Shut that off, it's bad backlighting. Well, we're gonna have to deal with it for now. What is up, guys? Fuck, it's hot down here. Shit! Oh, what's the temperature? Fuck, man. 85 fucking degrees down here. Tell anybody. Let, any, let, let anybody know. And for all you out there who think I'm lying about the temperature in my fucking room. 85 goddamn degrees. 24 degrees. 24 fucking 7. How's my floor? My floor is 75. My roof is 85. Midway is 84. Heat rises, by the way. So, what is, guys, what is going on? So, I just, it's, it's fucking 100 degrees and I was sweating already. I just, I just shut the fan off. So, I went out today. I got paid. I got made like $114 off of one day of work at my job. Um, no big deal. Technically made, a, made 140 It's frosty outside, but it's been raining, so. But, uh. Yeah, so what is going on? What have I done today? What have I wasted my money on now? Well, I got some good shit. I got some good shit for a deal, and I got more good shit coming next week. Um, anyway, so I have six goldfish still. They're currently living in a small setup. I'm going to get them a bigger one next paycheck because apparently I'm broke now because uh, we went out to eat, and I treated the family, and I spent a lot more money than I thought I would have to. But anyway, not the point. $53 on food. Welcome to Golden Corral. Fourteen dollars a person. I didn't know that was full ten dollars. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Forty bucks, no big deal. Fifty-three dollars. Fuck. But uh, so anyway, before that, I went to Uncle Bill's and I got some lovelies, some brand new lovelies. So what did I get? Well, most of them are upstairs still. Uh, the two new beta fish are upstairs, and uh, well, the new crab is upstairs who has a lovely surprise that I was not that I was unaware of. Um. So what I went out <clears throat> and did was I went out to Uncle Bill's and I was going for you know possibly you know, a couple more betas, uh, at least two more big females, and I got two big females, they're bigger than Delta, they make Delta look small, how are my fruit flies really quickly, half dead culture is starting to go bad, lovely, uh, I have to get more, ew, oh, oh, god, that's rotten, I got P2, but, uh, went out, <clears throat> and, uh, in the intention of going to possibly get some ghost shrimp, maybe some guppies, hey, what's up, Dakota, I heard from you in a long time, boy, what's up, and uh, ended up walking out with a lot more than I bargained for. So I went in and I walked out with two adult female betas, which were four dollars a piece, uh, four or fifty something a piece. Uh, I walked out with a uh, little red red clawed, looking more like a, I thought it was a fiddler at first, but it's actually called a red claw. Uh, would it cost me ten dollars if I didn't order three more for next week's on? Uh, I believe next week Friday. Best animals, man, getting some new ones, and uh, so I was. Ordering these guys, uh, ordering three more, another female and two males. The guy knows the supplier that works at Uncle Bill's. So he says he's gonna hook me up. He's like, all right, man. He's like, look, if he's like, you want more, right? We only have the couple females. I'm like, yeah. He's like, man, if you want to, he's like, I can sell you all these females for ten, all these females, ten dollars a piece. But if you order three more, and you only buy one of these, he's like, I'll sell you her for five dollars on my fucking soul. So he's selling me the other ones for five dollars a piece too. Uh, whenever they get in, so they'll be in probably Friday around 6 o'clock, uh, I'll have to be there at that point. And, uh, I'm digging that, I really am. And, uh, the female crab that I got, she has thousands of babies attached to her underbelly. They're huge, they're every, they're not huge, they're like the size of a freaking ballpoint pin tip. They're very tiny, but they're gorgeous. Uh, anyway, end up going, getting my gro go ghost shrimp, and they kind of giving me a shit ton of guppies, too. I've got maybe a dozen or two guppies in here. With one very large, rather pregnant, and uh, holy god, the amount of baby, the amount of eggs on these freaking ghost shrimp is insane. Holy crap. I don't know if you can see them very well in here. If I put them like this, you can probably see them pretty damn well. There we go. There's the big female over here. She's stocked full. Ghost shrimp are all piling up over here. And the reason he just went on ahead and, you know, I, I still bought the guppies because they were in the, in, the, in the container. He's like, let me pick them out. I'm like, nah, man, I'll just buy the damn things. Is uh, do the simple fact of I wanted guppies in the first place, and the funny part is my neighbor in within the next couple of days, uh, she actually had a breeding tank of guppies on accident. Her daughter wanted guppies because they were the fancy guppies, ten, twelve dollars a piece guppies, really, really nice guppies. And um, her daughter wanted them, so they bought four, four of them. They bought two sets, and uh, turns out they had two sets of males, and well, they had a set of males and a set of females. So four became twenty, and twenty became thirty, and thirty became ninety, and ninety became four hundred. So she sold them off. She got rid of them all, and uh, she gave a butt ton of them to her uh, her sister, who lives somewhere down the road from us. And she said, the next time I'm over there, which I should be over there in the next two or three days, she's like, I will get some for you and I will bring them to you. And I'm like, please do. 
So what I can do is I can get me a big 20 gallon, set the fancy guppies up in that. I'm gonna get a small 10 gallon for the goldfish. I'm not keeping all these goldfish, three of them are still snake food, just not right now. Uh, keep that on the low key. Uh, and uh, the betas are getting all, they're all getting 2.5 gallons, which I got a guy who makes them. I don't know if I can trust him or not, but he wants to sell them to me for like four, like eight bucks a piece uh, for 2.5 gallons. So I'm not sure. Oh, hi, Kenzie. Uh, but yeah, uh, I feel like I got more than that. I got, well, I got the, uh, I got three feeders, three little frozen thawed pinky mice for, um, uh, uh, Cholo upstairs. And if one of them is actually thawing out now, which I'll be right back. I'm going to actually go upstairs and get the crab and the two more betas. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't get the feeders. I don't think you want to see that. So I have this big girl right here. Same species as Delta, same color and everything. This one's a lot more blue, but she's huge. Look at them. They're bigger than Delta. And uh, this one actually has green. She has some sort of emerald. Can I see the emerald green in her? These girls are gorgeous. And they've got two lines on the side of them. See it? I don't know if you guys see it? It's really weird, but yeah. So these guys are going to be in here temporarily. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ick them. And uh, at some point... Oh, Martin. I'm actually thinking about setting up a uh, communal theme tank. I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, here is my little crab. Can you see all the babies underneath her? So she's all popped out underneath her. Look at that. Look at them all. If I could turn her around and show you, that'd be better. Yeah, look at them all. See them? That black mass underneath there? There's just thousands of them. And the thing is, I plan on getting one for a while now. Last week, I saw Uncle Bill's had him. I'm like, you know what? I've always wanted a pet crab. You know, I've always wanted to come across the Halloween crab, you know, something like that. But the problem is, they're so fucking expensive, like 40 bucks. And I'm like, no. And I saw these, I'm like, man, how much are you? He's like, man, 10 bucks. I'm like, ah, highway robbery, man, come on. He's like, all right, man, all right. And that's when I started talking to him about the deal. But, uh, yeah, so I think what's going to happen. I have one air pump. I didn't think this through. What was that? I got to pee really bad, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize that. I got a pee so bad it hurts. Um, I, I got these guys. Like, the guppies weren't even going to be like a thing they were, but they weren't. They were more like a contemplation. I didn't realize that the guppies were inside with the shrimp. And he's like, I'll just, he's like, man, you just want them? Like, yeah, man, I'll buy them. But he threw the big female in for free. And uh, I'm digging that. But uh, I've got the crabs tank upstairs getting ready. Uh, I've got some uh, earth, from out, uh, some dirt from outside baked in the oven for around two and a half hours. Uh, so I'm gonna get that. It's already wet, moist, ready to go. No parasites, nothing can be in that. I've then killed everything with the with the baking process. And uh, I'm gonna take the land moss from the aquarium. I'm gonna try to get it going inside the tank with her. And uh, I got this cool little clay, almost type shit formation going on. And it's a bowl of her own. Um, so I'm hoping she likes it. But I gotta get the, I gotta get the dirt hydrated, which is probably gonna take me about 30 minutes. It's just gonna be bad, but. Uh, I'm not going to have time to do it on camera because I really got a potty. Oh, and my neck hurts. Oh, but uh, yeah, everything's a little chilly right now. So I'm just going to let it warm up to air temperature. I had him in the car for a couple hours. We ended up going out to eat. Like I said, I paid for dinner. Uh, well, I paid for me, mom, and dad to eat. And that was 30, that was 55, 53 fucking dollars for, for, for three people. I'm never going to Golden Corral again. Never. It's still so hot. So let's do a corner and see. Oh, that's the algae culture. Uh, let's see, Connie and Nemo and Bart. Everybody's moving, everybody's alive. Sweet. Uh, oh, I gotta go so bad, it hurts now. Fuck. I do have this cool thing that when we went and rescued the little corn snake, uh, we ended up going through the uh, Petco dumpster <laughs> just for the hell of it, see if there were any animals inside that because. PetSmart and Petco are known uh, to throw away animals, depending on the location, and I never heard anything about ours, so I wanted to check and make sure. I uh, didn't find any animals, found a lot of stuff that had signs of animals at one point being in it, but nothing crazy. But we found this air pump 
well, it's not an air pump, but it's like a switch. You know, you plug one one hose into this four-way adapter, and you plug that into your air pump. And so you just plug off four different hoses to the four little knobs, and you turn them on, and it allows the air to go through. So you could have multiple bubblers set up through one bubble system. I thought that was cool as hell, so we grabbed that, and I got to find it. I think it's in one of these tubs down here. I'm going to have to find it, but, uh, whew, yeah, I, uh, I definitely am I'm, I'm digging this. So I think what I'm going to do for right now is, since everybody is icked in here, and the ick treatment's still in the water, I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and take the guppies and the ghost shrimp out of this bag and put it in here with the with the um, goldfish just for tonight uh, until I get off work tomorrow about five and then I can really try to figure out more then because it's gonna give me time to think about it because I just I I was gone a lot longer than I should have been and then I had actually planned to be so it's just been a little bit running through my mind about what I could do and the reality is I have spare tanks in the garage. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this ten gallon right here beside me and I'm gonna convert that into a fish tank. But the problem is it's gonna be so damn heavy. And uh, I don't want to put it on top of the, the boas tank because it'll just, it might break the boas. I don't want to put it back here on this dresser because there's no fucking room. Uh, and I don't want to put it on this dresser because this dresser, I can't even open the drawers with a little bit of weight that's on it now, which is just one 20 gallon, one 10 gallon. Both have snakes in it. And then this homemade one up here and then the miscellaneous little bit of shit and I can barely open this drawer with just that little bit. And that didn't include all the stuff I just put up here. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do is since this tank has been, this tank is empty actually. Um, so what I might do is I have this great big, well not great big, it's like a two and a half gallon, two, three gallon standing up. Uh, I might just set everybody inside of here because this, this water right here is room temperature. So this will help them acclimate very easily. I'll give it 30 minutes maybe and uh, go from there. But, uh, let's go ahead and turn everything around and show you guys. So you stop looking at my ugly ass. So the goldfish are just currently inside this little thing. They're all hiding under the substrate i got the bubbler going here it's blue due to the ick treatment uh, a long time ago this thing's been stained blue for years not sure why the fish food lit us off but uh you can see he's down here trying to show off for miss connie he's doing great by the way little bubble nest has died off and water levels dropped but uh here's the tank that i was talking about hello kayla but uh here's all my ghost shrimp can't see them very well it's not it's not focusing but yeah all the ghost shrimp are just they're stocked throughout this entire bag look at all the guppies i have and then uh oh where are the betas what the fuck did i do with the betas oh they're over here on this little section of dresser so here's this one here's delta showing off for him and there's this big girl right here see her look at her look at her color let's go ahead and pop the light on actually enable flash boom check that out and then here's little Miss Delta shutting off. And let's see if we can't get the ghost shrimp better. This phone just doesn't focus worth a damn. Can we zoom in on him? Yeah, we can zoom in on him. There's that big old guppy. All oh, his little tiny fry. Gorgeous. And, uh,. Go ahead and pull the crab out. I took the uh, took the air out of her bag. Kind of whipped her up. Come on, little girl. What's going on? Here we go. She just kind of she's fidgety right now. She doesn't like being messed with. But here she is. And uh, we're also gonna get her acclimated, which I really don't even really need to get her acclimated due to the fact if she's not going in a tank that's full of water, she's going into a land-based tank that has a big section for water for her if she wants it. And I don't think my uh, I, I highly doubt my goldfish are happy in this, but this is just what I put them into ickum. Um, I had them in this tank over here, but it was getting, it, the water is so nasty, uh, just with a few of them, just the six of them. So, like I said, I'm keeping three of them. The three that I'm keeping have white and orange patterns. They're stunning looking. Uh, but as of the other ones, they're still, they're still snake food. I'm sorry for that, but it's, it's what needs to be done. Now we got tarantulas out and running. Why do you look so small? It looks tiny. They both do. Uh, and, uh, everybody is actually about to get fed. I feed the, uh, I feed the, uh, oh, no, I have a dead shrimp. And I have a dead fish. That's lovely. That sucks. Well, I mean, that, that shit's gonna happen. I can't, I can't get mad at that. It's, it's being taken care of right now. It's, he's, the, 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 the shrimp is not being eaten, but the, uh, the, the dead fish he is. So, 
I mean, that's their scavengers, their cleanup crew. That's why I bought them. I was kind of thinking at first when I got them, oh, yeah, I'll put these in the beta tank. Help keep the bottom clean. And I'm thinking, betas are very aggressive. Betas hurt anything that moves. Betas are a bad idea to have with shrimp. And then I'm thinking, okay, but well, if I take them and I put them in my culture of land moss, they can keep the moss clean of all algae that grows on it because I do have, I, I am currently culturing algae. And I've also got a fish tank upstairs full of algae. And uh, here's the culture so far. It's. It smells like piss. It smells, it's disgusting. This is trash. This is just, bleh. this didn't work. So how did I try to culture the algae? I took pre-algae tablets and put it in here. I mean, the water's nice and green, like it's supposed to be, but it just, it smells. You ever notice that one kid that always smelled like shit? That's what this smells like. It smells like one of my cousins. Ugh. And Dakota, you know who the hell I'm talking about. It's not you, bitch. <laughs> so. It's just, it's disgusting. But, uh, she's... <sighs> acclimating to air temperature. Water's actually warmed up. No babies in the water. But, uh, I think what I'm just gonna do for her now is just get her set up in the tank. And uh, I might actually take some of the eco-worth that was from the, the pink toe tarantula because she's still back here in that small pet carrier because I haven't I haven't found anywhere that sells eco-worth in stock. My Uncle Bill's has been fucking dead eco-worth for like three weeks now and I'm not sure why. I, mean, I asked one of the dudes, he's like, man, I'm not sure. He's like, we get that constantly. People are like, where's the eco-worth? And he's like, I don't know. They just don't, they, they're not sending it right now. They haven't ordered any because apparently they ordered like, I don't know. It was like 40 containers of the blocks alone. Uh, and then they order like two or three hundred bags and they just never showed up. They just, they haven't showed up yet. They're like locked in transit and I'm not sure what the hell is going on. Neither is he, but we're both a little bummed out because we both use EcoWorth a lot. And, you know, he's like, he's, he's like, man, I got reptiles. I got tarantulas. He's like, I use this for all sorts of terrariums and shit. And I'm like, man, I feel you. I do the same thing with my tarantulas. He's like, you don't know with your snakes? I'm like, no, because my turn issue. He's like, yeah, I've had to deal with that a lot. And he was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think if it would, if, I didn't know if it would correlate, but I'm like, yeah, it, it's a. It's a pretty damn big correlation, man. It's 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 pretty much a guaranteed if you usually use substrate your snakes in with mites quicker. That's only because they stay moist, they stay warm. No, they stay warm, obviously. But I mean, you know what I mean. They just they, they, sometimes the mite eggs come with the eco worth. I've had things where I've had them locked and sealed in you know airtight tubs, you know, just with eco worth in it and water, and I fucking open up and there's mites everywhere. And on top of that, I made a tiny little terrarium with moss. I think it's cute. I even did the whole little irrigation with rocks, and I got a little spider in here. Ah, oh, now I don't, now I don't, now I do. Ha <laughs> ha You're back in there. But, oh god, that algae fucking reeks. I mean, where'd I put it over there? Oh. It smells like it's still in front of me. <sighs> That's being trashed. I'm just dumping it outside. Uh oh, don't, no, 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 this way. But uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to maybe eventually put one of the uh, Hunter and Curly Hairs inside of something like this and just make them a little hide, make it look a little nice in there for them. Um, I got moss growing in there and everything. It's pretty, pretty well. It's actually getting pretty big. But, uh, I'm about to check on my little corn snake. My little corn snake is gone. I think my little corn snake got away. No, she didn't. She's in her, she's in her little dried up water bowl. Fuck, her water bowl is dry. Her eco worth. She knocks her water bowl over. So, she's weird. I'm gonna go upstairs though. Start working on her tank. I'm gonna get a bunch more of these at some point, which I have a bunch more coming, as you can see. Uh, the baby should be here pretty, pretty soon. I don't know how well you can actually see it, but she is just black under her belly. Yeah, see it? There, there's, there, there, <laughs> there's, that's just pure babies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay this flat again, let her have all the room she needs, uh, give her the ability to come out of the air come out of the water and uh, these guys right here should be acclimated it's been what eight minutes now i'm gonna give it another 10 minutes uh but yeah guys i just wanted to make this quick video doing an update like i said everybody's getting a retank uh i've just recently got into fish for some reason it just popped out of me i was like i want this and i need this and i can do this and uh i've always loved goldfish i love koi more than anything uh so i definitely at some point would like to have my own place to have a big back have like a small backyard pond with a couple good looking koi in it uh, and I'm not talking nothing like you see on YouTube where it's like that small little pit. I'm talking like maybe something about like eight feet long, about three feet deep, something really good for them. A couple of good hiding spots, you know, something like that. Because I really love, I love koi. 
And that, that all falls back in my love of Japan and China. Like, it really does. Like, because of my dad, I'm as big of a nut as I am when it comes to, you know, Japan. Because he spent, he was in the Navy for, in the Navy for six years. Something like that. Yeah, I think it was like six years. I can't remember now. But he was over in Japan, the Philippines, the Orient, pretty much all those places for years. And he just, he developed a love for it. And he's always told me stories about it. And for some reason, I feel like I have like a weird link with that place. It's, it's weird. I know it's bullshit, but it's, it's weird. I feel weird. Uh, I even put one of the goldfish uh, with one of the betas just to see how they would act. And I put it with the little male. And he just, he he swam over to it. He looked at it. I was like, oh, okay, he swam away. And I'm that aggressive, are you? So, I mean, you can put betas with other fish. You just have to test what they can deal with and what they can do with. Um, so at some point, I think I will have a nice little 2.5 gallon with maybe a big male beta and maybe a couple small guppies. Uh, but, um, yeah, my neighbor actually has marble guppies now. She had them fancy guppies, but now she has marble guppies. Uh, and the black one is pregnant. She's fucking huge. They're, these marble guppies are about this. And that fucking fish, I swear to God, has a stomach on it like that. It's just, it's just bulbous. Like, you see the body, and then, like, it's, she's like, oh, we feed it a lot. And I'm like, honey, that's not feeding. That's, that's, that's eggs. It's like, are you sure? I'm like, I recognize eggs. <laughs> But I think uh, there's a dead baby shrimp in there. Oh, there's a snail. Oh, those are snails on the rocks. Shit, check this out. I got free snails. Turn, damn it. See them on the rock? There are two of them. <laughs> check that out. <laughs> That's hot, right? Ah, oh, feeder, feeder. So I spent on all this probably $28, maybe close to $30. My dad spent a lot more than I did, and he didn't buy anything that was alive. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey, case of raw, so raw, so be it. Uh, we bought some anchovies, uh, freeze-dried anchovies for the catfish, which they don't like. Uh, neither one of them do. They spit them out. So, I think I'm going to grind them up, make my own little fish flakes, and make some things into it whenever I run out. And, uh, yeah, we bought some of these shrimp pellets. They love those. And uh, he bought a chinchilla bath, which we use a uh, hospital tub for that for a long time. So he just bought this because it's around. It keeps a lot of the dirt, dust inside, and it's going to be cleaner on the house because this fucking, when he takes a dust bath, it's everywhere. So we, we have a chinchilla, too. Um, and uh, he bought a couple other things for the chinchilla, some, uh, some treats and things like that. But uh, I'm actually going to pop off here, guys. I've got to go to the bathroom so bad it's hurting. So uh, I'm going to come back downstairs. I'm going to get everybody set up where they need to be. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you know I'm done. So like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned. And, uh, yeah, I've got some new videos coming. I've got a couple good challenge videos in the work. And I've actually got three of them done. And one of them hurt. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm off. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, welcome back. Later.